Pistol win the co-sign paper. I went up. No, you win I the, went and got that big. That was the big, big. homie. Like okay, okay. I tell people, that's the greatest of all time. Like, Ooh. like he had to listen, man. He taught me everything. He taught me. He taught me how to write raps. He taught me how to. He protected me. He protected mm. me. That family protected me. You feel what I'm saying? To this to this day, that's still my family. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I married and I had another another like like my 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 son, Lamarcus. Family, he's still they still in the alley. They still yeah. it right there, Jason. But like all of them, that's the PJ and family, Charlie, all of them. That's because and that's my family. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because my son, you know what I'm saying, is the is the royalty right now. If you alive, subscribe. Y'all know what that means. Y'all know what that is. Um, I'm I'm so inspired by last night. And the Cashville ladies, man. Sweet poison. I'm going to just, I got to call them. Mimi the Goat. Shell Fox. B3. Avriana. Who am I missing? I'm missing one. I'm missing one. B3, Shell Fox, Avriana. Sweet poison. Okay. And Mimi the Goat. Yeah. Man. It's one thing to go see a performance, but it's another thing to go to see a show. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I know we all like hip-hop fans and R&B fans and all that, but, like, they show was just so epic. Shout-out to Shannon Sanders and Slimming Huskies, man, just for just trying to. I love they movement. I love they push. As in Nashville, you know, we always got the, we always got a bad name on us. Like, we don't work together. We don't support each other. One thing I have noticed about support in general and support period, when you're doing something supportive, they'll support you. And like I said, man, and so I'm inspired by them. Shout out to them again. But my guest today, uh, I always tell you, I got the real deals. And make sure you guys subscribe to my channel too, man. Uh, it don't cost you nothing. Like I said, I always ask people, be like, oh, how much do it cost to subscribe? It don't cost nothing to subscribe. Subscribe, man, and share my videos and let everybody know what I'm doing and push that like button and leave me a comment and I'll talk back. But my guest today, he's Cashville. He's that dude. I used to beat him in basketball. He used to beat me in basketball. So I don't know if we'll tie. What you think we what up, City Pack? What you think we'll tie in basketball or do you remember? You know what I'm saying? You was good early. I was good later. You had a good start. You was good early. Yeah. <laughs> man, uh, paper, uh, I gotta hit you with one thing, and uh, we'll go, and we gonna go, we gonna go every, we gonna go right after this. <laughs> but uh, it was a couple weeks ago, and somebody called me said, paper said that the girls are not hot or something. <laughs> or, what happened? And I, and I don't know what happened. Oh, uh, uh, what, what I say? What, what I say? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> they said something about the girls did rap or something. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Did you put something on Facebook or Instagram? <laughs> I, mean, I, didn't, I didn't know that. I ain't know nobody called me with that. Okay. <laughs> I said some of them. I said some of them. But I like I like what Avery Ryan are doing for sure. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Before this little move right here, you know, I didn't think it was too many of them, you know, yeah. just doing their thing. But Avriana, for sure, for sure, put the put the spotlight on this on this group and, and a few more, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, yeah, I probably did sneak that <laughs> in. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> I didn't but, even know I got caught saying it. But let me ask you your question, Paper, even talking about, about, like, that situation. Like, you think the girls in Nashville, have they been overshadowed from anything? And I'm just talking about from back in the day. I'm talking about the, um, the Nina Rosses and the um, – I, even when classic and all them was rapping, I, I like I just didn't know too many of them. P. I really, I mean, Mika B. I Mika B. You know what I'm saying? And, and, you know, yeah. Shout out to them. I just, I just, I don't know if it was if it was a a a, a big group of them that was mm -hmm. that was really doing their thing. Not to not to listen. You know, if may, maybe I forgot. You know what I'm saying? Oh, some yeah. of them, but you know, it was some cool girls. But I think now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I I do think you know what I'm saying they. You know, a person like Avery Ryan putting the spotlight Ooh, on them. Maybe they just didn't have the, yeah. the, pot, the spotlight. spotlight. But yeah. Lucy's mm -hmm. definitely uh, doing her thing and bringing it to the forefront for sure. You and know then what so saying? what you think about, like, the OGs coming out now with the with the girls and stuff doing that? And, we, you know, and that's we haven't saw – we done saw it a lot 
y'all work with the women, but now as they having a big push, can you see paper coming out doing some music with them? Because I know you ain't just doing music. Yeah, like I'm pretty much that. done with music. Okay, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Not me, but I can see I can see some of them. I can okay. see some some of the OGs like respecting it. You know what I'm saying? But I think for sure everybody respecting it. I think it take a person like like Avriana. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That people gen- genuinely like, you know what Fact. I'm saying, to 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 push it through. You know what I'm saying? Fact. So Fact. that helps a lot. You know what I mean? But I but I rock with them though. Yeah, no, I I, 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 I know you do that. Why look at what I said. I said they all always be trying to pick on paper every now and then, you know what I'm saying? But it, <laughs> they, like it, the it's been a bag. long time. Yeah, I like the good bag. Yeah, yeah that what you want. <laughs> but, no, seriously. Why do you think you like the good bad guy? You know what I'm saying? It, because, you know, I know you know you. And know everybody me. that know you know paper is is really a solid good guy. Yeah, so, I think I think most I think I think I just had a unique story. You mm-hmm. know, I think I think for us the the sports thing and my family and stuff being notable. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? My pops for show and people know Real it's quick. hard to yeah. Real yeah, quick, I gotta yeah, um, okay. before I before I okay, before right, I not right. think about this. All right. Do you think paper have been judged? Because you had a good household as in mom and dad. And like just with paper, he got Well, I believe I don't believe it's judged. I believe it's more just they can't believe it. It's just so unique. Mm-hmm. You know, cause yeah. my you know, my dad my pops was 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 popular yeah, and a good a person super too. Yeah. And then my mom went and, and so it wasn't just like it was super just rich because I grew up in the neighborhood with everybody, yeah. right? But mm-hmm. I just had good parents, Brent. you know what I'm saying? And I think just from the way I got down, and it, 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 it's just they couldn't understand the way that I was the first one that kind of was, you know, I was tough too, Pete. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not I probably way. and they they probably mixed that up from thinking he like this or whatever. But I never like try to portray that I didn't, you know, I couldn't eat. Yeah. Or nothing like that, cause my pa- my parents fed me. Nobody like, have a punch to paper out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, we, <laughs> that's the point, and now I think that's that's kind of the the thing that was unique. That yeah. They, that, that now over time that I understand, it was just like, oh, he this, he this. They thought I was trying to. I was like, no, I grew up with y'all. My, you know, what I mean, I had the same stories. You know, grew up with you. Grew up with all all the people I grew up with. But it was like to the point where the toughness of now nah, you ain't just gonna push me around. Mm-hmm. That yeah. that's kind of yeah. where they yeah. was like, like got misconstrued with. Yeah. <laughs> With the other people's story, like you know, it's other dudes that didn't that didn't have food and stuff like that. I never had that story and never portrayed that. Yeah. But when it became I gotta be tough because my pops made me tough, yeah. then that's what kind of got mixed misconstrued. So my dad made me tough. My dad made me that you ain't gonna push me down to do nothing. I gotta come get you. Mm-hmm. Look, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I have to do I have to do this. All right, all right. I gotta do this. Um, man, like this hurt me today. You okay. know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, you know, with, with you know, with me being, you know, what I'm saying, with me being just just the you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm paper. You know I'm the guy who always like try to bring folks together yeah. and trying yeah. to pull it together because I really believe in we better together. Yeah. So um, this person. Okay. And I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read okay. this text. Okay. You know what okay. I'm saying? Because okay. like I I mess with you and I trust you. Okay. This is what he said. He said he think he slick with that whole ass podcast. Plus you be trying to star shit on on slide. You about three tenths away from cool daddy <laughs> fresh bumping down on your podcast. <laughs> Don't do selective buddy system. Um, <laughs> I guess you know what I'm saying. This ain't got nothing to do with no paper. Yeah. This ain't got nothing to do like. Man, I was hurt when he did that. You know what I'm saying? I have did nothing but lift cool daddy fresh up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, he on my shirt. Yeah, I he right here. I don't know what Fresh was saying. He, he, he right you. here on my shirt. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And this ain't gonna do with you, paper. Yeah, I just, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, telling yeah, you this yeah, to yeah, ask you a yeah. question. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got a, a guy like like people like Kwani. Yeah. I don't lift Kwani up because yeah. he's just a rapper. Yeah, yeah. I lift Kwani up because I understand what he did done done in the community. Yeah. I yeah. understand when somebody having a bad day, yeah. he go in their DM and yeah. say, "Man, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Man, get yeah, it together. Sure. You got it." I understand that he's just a different yeah. type of yeah. real. For sure, for sure, for sure. And I always hold my OGs. You yeah. know what I'm saying on a status like, <laughs> "Yeah, man, I want to go and say, cool that felt <laughs> you this that didn't that." But guess what? My respect for my OGs yeah. is 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 past that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so for him to so for him to I took it like he was talking to me. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And for yeah. him to do that, 
I'm hurt, homie. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because I I put them on a certain Your level. Prince definitely a legend and stuff. Maybe 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 some just you know maybe want to get over here and y'all just just maybe I don't know. I can't okay. I can't speak on that. But yeah, fresh for sure, a legend. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Most remember, definitely. Remember. And like yeah. I, and like I said, I'm raised up with the real OGs, the Duke Drake. Maybe we're talking about you, P. All this. Maybe we're talking. I hope <laughs> not. You know what I'm saying? But because then what I said, I said I said fresh got my number. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We DM each other a lot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so, but I'm just saying, like, uh, for me, yeah. like holding our OGs. Yeah, how to. are we supposed to listen to our OGs facts, facts, when, when we feeling? Shoot up, yeah. When we feeling, you know, what I'm saying like that. I'm just or asking shoot, you, or if they shoot off like that, yeah. you know, what I'm saying unwarranted. But yeah, I don't know, man. I think it's definitely a gap between the OGs and the man. It's definitely pistol was speaking on it. Uh, yeah, um, the other day on his Facebook, Shout just man, he did it in a good way, you know, big because it's, it's articulate enough to kind of. You know, he was talking about the Mount Rushmore yeah. thing and all that stuff. And, you know, people got he, – he had a, a perfect view on it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. It is t- it's in time capsules. Uh, people, you know, it was like – he's he, in his reference is LeBron and and Mike, you know, whatever uh, era you in, you yeah. know what I'm saying, you, you you didn't live. You know what I'm saying? So he was in the era. He wasn't even in the era before that one with the blow prop and all of that well, stuff. Cool. And I, yeah. You know what I'm saying? In my era – We learned – so, yeah, you I didn't know, know them. You know Christ, what I mean? We really my, learned and, something. I, and I think it was some people that was in the era of uh, me and Lito and, and Kwani and all of us was kind of in the era mixed in between. We yeah. can kind of we can kind of speak on it. You know what I'm saying from the era uh, above us and and the ones that can't come now. So you know, my thing is just it's, it's it's a hard way to try to wrap all that up. And people sometimes people in their feelings and feel yeah. some type of way. I, I personally look at it just as fun as entertainment. I, I mean, me too. Music. Yeah, I didn't. You know what I'm saying? I always throw my whatever song or whatever else yeah. just to have fun. Yeah. But I ain't really tripping on it like that. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But some people are. You know, they put their heart on in they it the, yeah, and yeah. they just want to be mentioned and all that. And I understand that too. And but but you cause like I said, you got to think for me, like I'm always gonna uh I'm always gonna hands down hold my OGs down. Yeah. Like you can't you can't make me diss an OG. Nah, facts. You know what I'm saying? It's Nobody hard, you it's can't hard like, to diss OG. Nah, facts. Anybody OG can corny, yeah, yeah. built to a fridge, y'all can yeah. diss me all day. I yeah, ain't never yeah, because yeah. I still hold y'all facts, they on that status, yeah. but I want to keep them yeah. on that status. Yeah, nah, because nah, that brain, yeah, you don't want to get brought down to That's it. all, you know what I'm saying? and what I'm saying is so even with, you know what I'm saying, like paper coming up. Yeah. After basketball and stuff, you know what I'm saying? I used to beat paper in basketball, too. He beat me sometimes, too. I think we about tied up again. But after basketball, paper, what made paper say, I'm just going to start rapping? Oh, that came out of nowhere. All right, all right, For me, so, it came out of nowhere. All right, so it was, I did, man. Uh, man, this kind of was crazy. I kind of like music and shit like that, but uh, my, my, my baby mama... It's Pistol, you know what I'm saying? She was, she is Pistol, uh, my first son, Pistol. We was going to get like an eighth grade, ninth grade. And she was Pistol, first cousin, almost like brother and sister. Yeah. So me and Slay, Slay was kind of the first person. Ron Slay, he was kind of the first person. What side that, was you born up on, though? Oh, man, that's crazy. It's really East Side. Okay, okay. East Side, Ooh, Northfield. Paper North, East Side. Yeah, yeah. North, East Side, North, East Side, Northfield, we, East Northfield we moved to Rosedale, then okay. we moved to Parkwood, right? Ooh, yeah. So, so, so my dad, you know what I'm saying, he... My pops, he uh, took the Pearl Cone job, which uh-huh. my auntie stayed at Andrew Jackson, my other auntie, Preston Taylor. So that's kind of where that... We had to get that out the way because... Yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah. So it's kind of all of that, but bit, really you know was, it really was North Fifth. Yeah. Uh, you know, my granny, she, 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 she stayed on North Fifth, and that's where my mama stayed and then moved to Rosedale. So that's kind of the, the, the beginning. So but that's going into rapping... East, but going, yeah, like, the going into rapping was... Um, started talking to my baby mama, man, and she... Uh, she was, man, Pistol was our cousin. It was 96, and he was, like, doing money in the power or whatever. Mm-hmm. He coming through with the big mm-hmm. Desert Eagle and shit, and we over there chilling, eighth, ninth grade, me and Slay. Slay talking to our cousin and shit like that. Shout out to Slay. And, yeah, Slay. Like, yeah, we like, yeah, goddamn, yeah. big boy coming through with the big Eagle on him. <laughs> yeah. And he, he the shit then. Man, like, so it almost kind of, like, in, in influenced us, because Slay was like, man, I'm a rap. I'm a, I'm a I'm going to write a rap and kind of rap for him. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Tomorrow when we go and pre- I hear our wish. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? And I think Slate tried to rap for him or something like that. I can't remember, man. But he wasn't doing that. And I was pretty – I was I was a little cold. I kind of danced with it a little bit. So I was just like – the next day I went out, I said, shit, fuck it. I'm going to do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He came through with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's up, y'all? Whatever. Had the big boy Desert Eagle, man. Mm. Put, it in, put, put it on. We impressed and Taylor. You know what I'm saying? That same like, one he had yeah, on the yeah, album yeah, cover. That big motherfucker. Saying, yeah. That big motherfucker. And I said, man, shit, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do a little do a little rap. I think I hit some that's some little St. Ives or something. Me and Slay, we was drinking beer or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. We about 15. Saint yeah, we about 15. Yeah. We bullied us up, man. So, yeah, I drunk that motherfucker. And I think I hit a rap for him and shit like that. And he kind of. 
He kind of liked me a little bit, but we said he liked me. The yeah. rap wasn't shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, Pistol, was you lying? Yeah, or what? he was lying to yeah, me then, man. Because it took me, you know, I kind of was, you know, kind of start fucking with uh, the PJN group, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which was her cousins and some more people, Charlie, shout out to Charlie, PJN, yo, a few more people. And then I, man, it took me a year or two to get in the group. Well, I was in a group then, but I kept missing CDs mm -hmm. because, you know, back then you recorded, you recorded in school. Like, niggas had studios, wow. like Demo and them, top of the line, yeah, all of them recorded yeah. out during the day, and I was in school, Ooh, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So I was like, shit, man. So it actually took me two or three years, because I used to miss, miss, the see, uh, miss the sessions and shit like that. And my mama actually was like, uh, talk to Jeff O. And shit, Jeff O was the- Oh, was, with Jeff O last night? Shit, <laughs> <to Jay -B, laughs> yeah, yeah, Jeff yeah. O was like the engineer from top Thanks. of the line, and she was like, you know, my baby really want to rap. And shit, it was crazy. Mm -hmm. It was just like that, though. I ain't, I ain't tell no stories. She was like, he was like, I think Jeff O took me to the, to the studio, and I kind of got on the verse on one of them CDs. And they, you know what I'm saying? I was so scared of Demo, because Demo used to like, if, if your verse was garbage or something, he'll say something. Demo, yeah, he'll say, yeah, he'll throw you out the studio, <laughs> play that Suge Knight roll, <laughs> snap, so smack you in the ass. I was roll. real nervous because <laughs> I was like, I'm 15, you know what I'm saying? 14, 15. Hey. So Jeff O let me kind of like do it as a secret, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? When Demo went there and yeah, CD kind of played you it. Were high, you were in high. And everybody was like, oh, Lamarcus, good, you know? Yeah. And it was like two years after that. But that's kind of how it came. And then by my junior year, I think I got on Baller Hall, like a speed ball and all those CDs. Where did the, the name City Paper Paper come from? And they came, man. I don't even know, bro. I Except think I think I think it was a little more, it was a little more PJN. PJN Lil Mar all the way through high school. And then when I graduated from high school, I went to college and played college ball. And I got in trouble. I kind of got I got in some big trouble. And I didn't rap. For two years, yeah. man, mom and them was kind of like trying to keep me in the judge. was like, you know, you need to go to school. So, so I yeah. always was back and forth. I, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, I need to go back to my to my, to my my good life. Yeah. This shit, this rap shit. This rap shit. This rap shit. It's getting tough. It's getting tough out here. But look, I, and let me ask you something. And, and, and I want to keep yeah, talking about yeah. this rap shit, but I want to ask you, what was the challenge of not being from out west but being the nigga out west. Nah, that's, that's, I didn't, man. Listen, man, that's why I'm going to keep it real. Like, I didn't notice none of that until I got so big. It damn near spooked me, man. Like, because Pete Gates, them being from that, like, yeah. whatever. But I had some good family. Like, the family, that's my family, right? Yeah. And, and, and another family is my, my, my auntie, named Miss Joyce. I had the Damon Harris. There's some people. I had family, but just... I think it started to haunt me a little bit. I had so much respect, and I was so big yeah, as the yeah. man that's the next rapper and out there. And, and kind of quick. And quick. Nah, I was like, God damn. You know what I'm saying? This dude. So that's kind of where I think the hate and a lot of that. And I can see it now. I understand it. You, But, but do you think with being co-signed by Pistol, you think that kind of made the road a little smoother? Definitely. You know Definitely. what I'm saying? Is that the is that Definitely. the paper? If Pistol win the cosign paper. I went up. No, you I wouldn't have got that big. That was the big, big homie. Like okay. Okay. I tell people, that's the greatest of all time. Like Ooh. like he had to listen, man. He taught me everything. He taught me. He taught me how to write raps. He taught me how to. He protected me. He protected mm. me. That family protected me. You feel what I'm saying? To this to this day, that's still my family. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm married, and I had another another like like my 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 son Lamarcus. Family, he's still they still in the alley. They still yeah. it right there, Jason. But like all of them, that's the PJ and family, Charlie, all them less pills, and that's my family. Right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because my son, you know what I'm saying, is the is the royalty right now. Right. He's still, you know, in right and there. And we're gonna get into him in a minute. Yeah, but but, but that's the family. So yeah. that family is all connected, if it makes sense, mm -hmm. right? Be yeah. having a baby. That's kind of where, where they're connected. And I respect him. I respect Gates for just, you know, smoothing the road for me. He like that he, he told everybody that's the next one up. You feel what I'm saying? That's PJ and Lamarck, and I was that. You know what I'm saying? And I was cold. Do, you know? Do you think this paper? I'm gonna ask you a question. Yeah. Because uh, <laughs> I know paper. Yeah, That's what I, yeah, I know yeah, paper. Yeah, no paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, you ain't really like a click type of dude. Nah, I hate you. I hate really that. not a, a a click type of dude. So this just a real life question. Do you think you bagged away from rap because you got kind of tired of hanging around the cliques? I hate niggas. I'm like the KKK. <laughs> I'm saying again, I hate niggas. I hate studios. I hate niggas. I hate rappers. I hate chains. I hate a lot of people. I always hated. And it was a, it was something that burnt my stomach right. every time I was there. Nobody didn't know that, right? The more and more I went, I, the, so that's why I always got the beat. I rolled or whatever. The more, the bigger I got, the more sick I got. I was ready to quit rap before I did Dope Boy Swag. 
Now I was ready to quit rap, but I just kept making hit songs. So when I did I'm a hustler home in 07 and yo got a shit white from the north and all of that stuff, like shit, I done what's up bluff with, you know, with with Lido and 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 that that went. And okay. then I did I'm a hustler, you know what I'm saying? Then we did grind hard and right back at it. Then I shit, I made dope, I was ready to quit. I was playing when I made double boy swag. It made me rap for another seven years. I was pissed off. I hated rap. Was, I was playing. <laughs> I, was playing. <laughs> I was playing. Wow. Well, that shit in five well, minutes it made me rap. Like I hate rap. I hate everything about it. What makes you hate everything about rap at the at the being in it for so long? Man, I just think, man, you know, I like the art of it. You know what I'm saying? I just hate everything in your brain, Pete. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I hate that it make I, I I like if it's n- not saying to, you made money to me to me to me it, it it put me in a box like now 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 granted when I was active in my time from hustling or doing all the stuff that people know knew me to do you know what I'm saying like people know like you know what I'm saying all of this stuff my raps were real raps that's I, and, I, and that's the part I think people can't take it was like oh he got good whatever but you know I was with whatever like like yeah. I was too good at rap to to yeah. to be fabricated but that was making me sick because I it was conflicting with who I really was from from the beginning of me having a good upbringing so that whole time going the 20 years going into this rap I felt rap was the streets to me and I felt I didn't have no, I felt I had no business in it I feel, so look, for me personally it was conflicting if um and you are city paper. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You are city paper. But yeah. if I put you in a in a box of like what a lot of people that the world know, yeah. you always remind me of like a Benny Butcher type of. I like, I damn, dude, 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 dude nasty. You know like what I'm all of those guys, like, dude, I love dude. It's crazy that you okay. said that, Pete. Okay. I love, I, like, somebody put me up on him a few years ago and it was refreshing to me. Mm. It was refreshing. I was like, shit, he spit. Now, I like, no, nah, for sure. So I like, I like that lane. I thought that when I, when I, when I made I'm a hustler and all of those street records, I was trying to get up out of that box and nobody. What would you really did different if, okay, if, if you're going back to starting rap a uh, paper? Yeah. And would you would have not rap or what would you have did different? Uh, see, the thing was, P, man, just growing up when we grew up, even being in basketball and your parents yeah. being a coach and uh, my mom. You but, already been popular because of your. You already. So that was the easy thing. thing. So I kind of like the popularity. I like okay. the girls. We went okay. to Pearl. Okay. I like all the stuff that brought. <laughs> He's married now, but yeah, he liked yeah, the yeah, girls. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm I like all the stuff that it brought, P, right? Yeah. I uh-huh. like the. You know, like it's, it's it's one of those things where if you grew up and you got a little pee over here, and he got that bankroll. Well, well you got to yeah. do something to get the bankroll, well, yeah. right? So yeah. you either gotta shoot some dice. That's almost in the street element. I didn't have to sell dope, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Facts. So, or you become a rapper, or you, but you're still in the school. Yeah. You still go yeah. to Pearl. You still go to Head Middle School, West yeah. and West End. All that I'm Andrew Jackson. I'm still there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just had good, 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 good parents. I'm yeah. in in the in the in the cluster of it. But my point is, I like what it brought, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah. that's what trapped me because I was like, shit, man, this nigga, you know what I'm saying? This nigga get the bad gal or whatever. So I liked that early, but as time went on, man, I had got used to it. So what it did, it just made me, you know, it made you accessible to, to everybody to judge or whatever. Then, of course, you got, might have to take on this fight or take on this beef just to sustain. See, that's yeah. that's what it is. Like, because a rap, you can't have no scars on you. So if this dude say something there, you almost definitely got to go crash out. And yeah. that's a beef. And I'm like, I go to the penitentiary for yeah. this shit. Maybe I need to go drive some trucks to get the same money okay. or something, man. So, 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 so for paper, even when, like, first coming in the rap game yeah. and first coming in, did you ever feel like, I got to be better than such and such, or I got to be better than such and such, or you just felt like, I'm just going to do what I do. You know nah, what I'm saying? It was what was the motivation? Nah, so, so when I first came in the game, you know, the competition was the rap group, which was PJE, and it was it was Pistols, Lil, yeah. and I had to be better than those Ooh. guys. And I took it, and I took it. You cut. took it to another level. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, it, was, it was, I was in a different, I was in the, and and some of that, not, I mean, that was cold. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with all of them. You know what I'm saying? Charlie went, you know what I'm saying, got locked up. 18 years he out there doing this thing. Shout out to Charlie, yeah. PJ, and Yo. And uh, it was I, be, a few... I be, I be, I be reposting stuff. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. So that uh-huh. was our group. It was me, PJ, and Yo, and Charlie, and and and, and a few more. Uh, Mike, a pistol brother, he did money making. Mike, he got killed, and there was a few more that that rapped with us. But that was the first initial. Like I got to be because it was kind of my age, and then yeah. it went to the people your age, like you know the the. 
you know, the young bucks, he looked older, but it was, it was some people that was rapping, you know, back then, yeah. but I was always amongst those guys because I was with Pistol, mm -hmm. and Pistol was the top dog, right? Yeah, yeah. So uh, I looked at definitely. it as being as the top dog, if I can be his little nigga, and I, and I became the closest one to him, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, at yeah. one point, right? So it gave me an easier role, but after that... You and Pistol relationship have it always been... Yeah, Straight man, it's, it, 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 it was a time, you know what I'm saying, that we that, that we didn't talk. I think yeah, it was I, after he went to Atlanta, Atlanta or whatever, and he just said I kind of, and I and I apologize to him. I think I had got the the big head so much mm. that I was pretty much, he couldn't say nothing to, to me. me. Nobody I had, could, yeah. you would see the baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, so I'm after, the man now. Nah, I think yeah. I got the dope boy swag, I kind of lost. Got, yeah, yeah. 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 Look, I was like, I'm here. I, but, but look, and, and <laughs> that's why, look, pistol, uh, 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 I mean, paper this is why i respect for me this is why i respect you yeah because i never forget you remember i had that show with ox yeah shout out with to ox yeah, from yeah, belly. I, yeah from belly. i yeah. called pistol I, I called paper i yeah. was like i said hey paper man i need you a favor man i said yeah. man i'm doing this show man yeah. i said my budget you was making about 2500 yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah i yeah, said yeah. my budget is super duper low yeah and um yeah. Yeah. he said p uh he said what he i said man i got Ox coming from yeah, Belly. He yeah, said, yeah. what the Ox do? I yeah. said, man, he rap. Uh, what, he what was stuff. it that P was it down? It was down John Henry. John Henry, yeah. I and like down, John Henry. And, 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 <laughs> and then what you said, you said, P, just give me a number. Give me any time. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then... I yeah. said, paper, I got 500. Yeah. He was like, nigga, I was going to do it yeah, for free. Come I always, on with yeah, because I always looked love. at it like that, that we was friends and we and I yeah. always tried to have some morals to my friends or to who to I came up with that was doing it. I looked at it like it's, it's fun too, yeah. man. If you was my friend, I, I never took rap that serious. Yeah. Still to this day, man, I never took it to the point where that's why if you see me play around with my or whatever, whatever, I'm never really that serious, man, because I always wanted to get out of rap. Like I told you, it was a time with Doughboy Swag and probably, you know, years after that, to, on to I made gas. It mm -hmm. was, I made Doughboy Swag in, in 2009 and uh, probably, probably a little bit before that. Let's, like, let's say pay-per-view. It was a good CD. I sold me and Caesar down at the executive barbershop. Did that. How did you first start selling your albums? Was you hand in hand? hand, hand. Me and Lido started that. Me and yeah. Lido, man, we used to put the shit in the plastic, and go get that. it, take it to the stores. You know what I'm saying? Me and Lido kind of was doing that in uh, shit, 04. It was hand in hand. And, and, and me and bro started a grind like that. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then we had the same blueprint, right? Yeah. And shit, by 2009. Shit, I was I was making, you know, after I made Dope Boy Swag or whatever, I was probably doing three thousand to five thousand a show at one point. That's a question I yeah. want to ask you. I'm glad you yeah. brought that up because I, I want to kind of touch on that. I want to kind of yeah. hit on that. Like, um, at the time with you even conjoining and signing with Lido. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Shout out to Star, yeah, Star Lido. That's my Yeah, 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 yeah. Star Lido, I just want to say thank you. <laughs> it's a, it's a good you person. ain't gotta worry about what I'm saying. Thank you <laughs> yeah, for, but yeah. I just wanna say yeah, thank you. Yeah, I got love, um, I love, bro. <laughs> Paper, you could have went anywhere. You could have kept doing your own thing. What made you say, I'm just going to get down with bro? Well, well, like, and that's kind of what happened, man. Me and him had a little small, small disagreement, but we was, we was, we was so much cool. Like, me, yeah. Ed, and Star, Sleazy, gee, we was friends. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Just like, it was so fun then. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Grand Hall was so fun. He had the blueprint. He had the lane, you know what I'm saying, yeah. as far as with, with the guy that moving and, and, it, and it looked good. For me at that point, you know what I'm saying? And then even with that, you know what I mean? I Even with him, it started getting competitive, and I started yeah. thinking, man, I might be better than him. You know what I mean? And, and that's kind of where we went. Do, do, do that just come as an artistry? You know what I'm you saying? Know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. That's the only thing to me and him. Okay. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm that, I'm that, yeah. whatever. And I just wasn't listening to nobody on nothing. You know what I'm saying? In hindsight, 2020, he was the one that, that showed me. I think Lito probably, he don't need, I don't think you remember. He he was on Facebook. Yeah, I think he showed me even how to get on Facebook. I think he was in college yeah. and shit. You had to be on in college or <laughs> he something. He about that. But yeah. yeah, he always was ahead so, of the in game. In all this game, yeah. And I should have listened more because like, when, I when say it went, start smart. Yeah, always... when it went digital, like I knew, I did, I couldn't, I couldn't um, transition to even when the game went from CDs to iTunes and stuff. He was mm -hmm. the one I always had that extra game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That that he could put people on. You know what I'm saying? Right. I would have went way further, you know what I'm saying, yeah. if I had a stayed and listened to him on his little nuggets that, that he was doing. But I just like the club and man, I just like to make a song and go to the club and and get bullied. Do you and, think you, know, you just that. really kinda signed with him, got down with him just on stuff like, man, this Cashville, man, yeah, let's and do this my thing. partner, man. We were just yeah, friends. Yeah, yeah. We was friends and I probably should have stayed with that man. And then I think I ultimately went on my own and um 
I think when me and him kind of went out separate ways, he went his way. I went over. That's when I made uh, the city paper, and that took on the life as, of his own. Mm. But even when that, like I said, P, even when I made that record, you know, in my in my internal, you know, nature, I didn't. I was already checked out of rap. Yeah, yeah. So I had to rap five more years because I just didn't have anything to do. I didn't have no career. I didn't go to school. You know what I'm saying? Like that. So I was checked out, though, mentally. Ham, shout out, shout out to Ham. Uh, shout out to my Abraham. And he always say, paper is the only nigga I know that turned down deals. I, 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 didn't, I, didn't, I was scared of him. Why? I was scared, I mean, to, leave, I was just... scared to leave my son. I literally was scared of So when people say you were scared to make it, I was because I didn't want to leave it. I wanted, I, wanted to, I wanted to be at every game. I wanted to be at every uh, field day. Because that, that was the w- real life that my parents had, had for me. That's when it always was reversed. See, everything that I seen, you know, leaving for a month to go to the studio, I didn't know about that because I would see my parents every day. Mm. Like, like, you, do that make sense? I know no, it sounds weird. It, 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 sounds, it sounds weird to weird, people. But it, it really I makes... never, I was so scared to make it big because I never wanted to miss a field day. I never wanted to miss the little kitty basketball game. It was just smug. He wasn't even nobody yet. But, but so I, you I just never, wanted, never to... really wanted it. Just, I ain't going to say not never, but just kind of like once getting into it, it was, you too think much. it was too you much. You think it's the vibe of like the rap, like you understand that it come with a lot. I think I, if I knew that first P, and I think I was just playing. I didn't. I, I think I was just in, in a in an immature state. State, but once I got twenty and twenty one, and I already had got in trouble. I think just from rap stuff or being amongst the environment. If I, to me, being honest, man, to me, if I never went to a studio at fourteen and start drinking and smoking and being around D and Paul. Not 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 knocking those dudes, but the stuff I seen, you know, look at look, 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 listen who no no people okay, listen, listen to the studios I'm at, right? Okay, yeah. I'm in Demo studio, right? Ooh. In ninety six. I'm Ooh. fourteen. Right? The next year I'm in, I'm now hanging out for three years. Then I'm with Paul, right? Mm, yeah. These are wolves, like I'm in murder. Are, I'm, I'm a kid. So so by seventeen, it, it make you who you is. That's why I say that. Hold up. It's the truth. But hold up, baby. This why <laughs> the reason why I asked you this whole question is it, it, it surrounds this. Like like I said, you at D Mall. Yeah. You at Paul, yeah. Pistol, everything. We was in the club one time and this stuff is old. Yeah. But um paper performing on stage. Yeah. Some happen, yeah. shooting go yeah. off, yeah. all yeah. this, this and that. But this is what I said, Buck, we all, I'm in the club with Buck yeah. that night. The <laughs> yeah. Rock. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Yeah, 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 that was on stage, yeah. This is what I said, though. I said, that ain't paper. Yeah, yeah. See? All I said was, I said, I said, that ain't paper. Yeah. And not that you wouldn't do nothing. Not that no, it was, not that exactly it was right. but I was just like, no, dude. Was yeah, and it was it was an altercation with, the, again, and I, so, I don't protect everybody, but it's still, and I love all my friends, the oh, ones that protected me. But definitely. still, if I'm if I'm rapping on stage and somebody throw money or whatever, and they go, I had it was it was so much on me, on that level. I had became powerful. Oh, I became definitely. powerful. And I still, I, I it, it to the point where the the, the, the dudes that was power. yeah the dudes that was around me, it was just, it was just too much for me, man. And I love them all, and I knew to the point that I was real enough. I didn't want nobody doing nothing. Oh, it, it, it's to the point that this people, man, I didn't even want nobody. It was weird to me when people do stuff for me, like, or when they say, hey, so, uh, you know, I got to get somebody. All of that stuff, it was just it's too just much like, for me. That was weird for me. I'm like, I'm a regular <laughs> person. I don't want you going to jail for me. I don't want just because somebody do something. I got to, all of that was weird to me. I just wanted to be a regular person. I was checked out then. That was that was 2010, 2011. I was done then. Yeah, I, so I, I still got those same friends that done all of that, but it was to the point where we all cool now because you got a life, you got a life, you got a life. Right. We all regular. Like yeah. I never looked at myself like even though I knew how cold I was, mm. that was corny to me. And so, even with paper, like, um, how is paper not in every conversation when it comes to do with the rap? <laughs> in the, I just think I just but you heard the right conversation of them of them of them of the people ask ask let me tell you the ask I think Dolo White was on your yeah. on your great podcast he was here. right he was here. ask all the club owners that that I was the only one that had lines down the street for ten years you know what I'm saying I'm like that dude man like nobody the the people who matter most all the radio ask Kenny Smooth he put me on the rush more Dolo White go down the list see Wiz uh uh, uh Coop, all the DJs you know they still had thirty minute sets man yeah, I'm the only one they they do thirty minute with paper man no shade is anyone better in Nashville better than paper no shade 
Yeah, 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 for sure. Okay. Lido and Buck and, and Gates. Okay. Me and Quanny can box. Uh, oh, I love Quanny. Me and Kiki can box. You going to come to my dog? Be, no, like listen, that. listen, go here for me. In the building. Hey. Think about it. Me and Kiki can box. That's okay. my nigga, though. Guess what? But, 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 man, but. Let's set a versus up with Paper and Quanny then. Oh, Lord. You, man. Cool. And, and, and then, and then, but guess what? It'll be so cold and it'll be because we'll, and- it, it'll be love. Like, like, man, ask Q, man, like, Q, one of the ones that people don't know this. My first CD was a uh, uh, real talk. Volume one, J one. Who uh, was the only one got paid on your first CD? Yeah, one? paid him. Okay, no, no, oh, guess you, what? you had to pay crew. Crew, I, I got your me. back. No, nah, he wanted them. Crew, I got your back. Nah, I, he I wanted them. My dog. No, nah, he wanted them. He Coo. wanted them. It's, it's a respect that's so deep. But yeah, as far as the competitive nature, yeah, that's that's somebody. And it's fun. That, nah, it ain't no beef for none of that. Nah, like he wanted he them. Ain't, we ain't. I asked a, uh, man, uh, uh, a pattern most of my game how he done things at the Q man, but like I. I to be honest, I would I, I would put Q, uh, uh, pistol. I mean, I'm sorry, Buck Lido, Lido Buck. You know what I'm saying? Probably, Buck, you know, interchangeable pistol quantity. And mm-hmm. then you come with you come with that. Okay, come with the city. Go with the shit. Yeah. <laughs> you come with the- all respect. Hey, but one thing <laughs> they got all due respect. One thing they got to respect is something <laughs> what you just said. If you got paper on something, and I know this from <laughs> personal come. experience, who I call? They coming. I call paper. They I need on. you. I'm coming. Paper said, I thought you was going to give me about 200, 500. Yeah, great. Because I'm going to have, have fun. fun. I'm yeah. coming through with the ones. I'm like, listen, man, I'm coming to play. You got to, you got to, listen, man. You ask the, the club owners, love me. I always, because I'm a, it's just like what you're doing. Like, we, I'm a I'm a people person and stuff like that. But far as hits and club music, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> that's it. You Look, know what I mean? They 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 played your song in the New Year's party. Paper didn't even want the mic. I, ha- I hate rap. Nah, right. nah. Why didn't you? Hold up. <laughs> and and why didn't this what? This just a personal <laughs> yeah, question okay, for okay, me. Okay. When they played your songs for New Year's yeah. and the crowd going crazy, yeah. why didn't you get the mic? I I, I, I just don't. I, I was mad at you for that, nah, just I to just, be honest. I, I, I was like, I, I was, I, I was man, waiting for you to get I the mic. The, I like the respect part of it. I like the partying part of it, P. But I, the the rapper part of it, P. I done it, and I'm satisfied with what I done. Right. That's why I don't. It take a lot to pull. Yeah. Sometimes I get my flowers and come out and hold so do little stuff I knew on New Year's. Yeah. I thought that was a good look. That was great. great yeah. Look. Yeah. I like. You know what I'm saying? I mess with me and Buckhead music together and stuff like that. But far as the rap part of it, the rap. I think we. I had my and Cook Up kind of said uh, some stuff to it. You. I, he alluded to now nah, the rap part of it. I heard them say, man, I get some little niggas or whatever, and, and me won't even do that because I don't just have the time and the patience. I don't really like the game like that. But if I did like rap and all of that, you know what I mean? I just, I'll get some little niggas or whatever to get down. But as far as me and getting the mic and coming rapping, no. Nah. You know, I would do I would do a Legends <laughs> thing or something. Oh, yeah. Here and now, yeah. if, if Q do it or yeah. Lido or some big dog. But nah, I ain't. I ain't. You still shot, took a shot my nigga Q and all. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, that might be you know some that's good. It. You know that's, <laughs> nah, that's some you know that's, that's Yeah, that's nah, you nah, know, nah. We, we I still East put side. my I still put myself behind him, but for a versus. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, stand on, stand there. I know you gonna Q, stand. Q, 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 Mike, I know yeah. you gonna stand. You he know what I'm saying? Probably the one that 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 that, that, that you, you know what I'm saying? That and I, would, that and I know you gonna come tree. on top and of I'm your coming. game, and I'm coming. I know you. <laughs> Q, don't get me at the end. <laughs> but this, this, yeah, they were. okay. So look, so look, <laughs> paper. You know I love you. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, I love you. Yeah, bro. yeah. Okay, so uh, I want to talk about. I thought about some. That Big Fridge. Okay. Big Fridge sent like a tweet or somebody when they was on Instagram and he was talking to him. He was like, he was it at he added it to George and was like saying, like, hey man, yeah, yeah. hire me yeah. on that football program. Yeah. yeah. I feel I feel like it'll get Nashville involved. For so sure. it'll get and so with paper. With your son being the top yeah. athlete yeah. in Tennessee, yeah. Yeah. the top yeah. athlete in Tennessee, yeah, 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 my baby, right there, for sure, for sure. The Love top him. athlete in Tennessee, Very I want to. Uh, do you think you got more of a voice when it comes to TSU now? And why did you say like to like? Yeah, for sure. Come out and say like, hey man, y'all need to have free. Yeah, you know sure, what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. Yeah, when it comes to, when it comes to politics and sports and stuff, my son and me and, and my 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 pops that. You know, he he was an All American in Tennessee State oh, yeah. of football. He played with Richard Dent. Actually, yeah, he gave Richard Dent his number ninety five. So my my pops and him played. So 
the athletic director, Mickey Allen, shout out to Mickey Allen. Him and yeah. my brother played at Tennessee together, mm -hmm. UT. So it's a lot of those ties that that I got going on. But for sure, Fridge owned to something with, yeah, with, yeah. with getting the athletes. And Fridge was in my wedding, one of my good friends. Solid, Fridge. solid. I didn't get invited to the wedding, Man, but it's P, okay. Man, should have came, P. Well, I, I don't know, know where you was I at. Know, he was getting a lot know, of money in, P. I, I it, missed the wedding. It, it was, was the wedding of the wedding. They said it. Now, just they said we don't go back to TSU. Yeah, go to the wedding, yeah. This is what I want to know. How did you pick your groomsmen? That was Out cold. Out of your wedding, your wedding was so cold. That was cold. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. most of them, all of them were my good friends. Fridge, uh, we grew up together. I went to Hillsboro. He went after me, but me and Fridge was real good. Him and my, him and my pops, uh, his He'll dad and my real pops. Soon, so shout out to Fridge. Yeah, Fridge, you know yeah. uh, Slay. Is my brother, yeah. you know. My parents kind of adopted Ron growing up. Okay, of course he kept played What's when we played Maplewood Junior he, he Pro too. for sure, for you know sure. What I'm uh, and this D Strap man, shout out to D Strap, shout one of my best friends. You know what I'm saying? Strap, when you gonna come on my podcast? Yeah, yeah, yeah strap, strap, strap. I want you going to talk some shit. Strap my guy, yeah. and then and then the rest of them. Um, uh, my brother Buck. Um, uh, man, it was a good wedding, man. But then my man, my wife, she had a good crew. What made uh, paper say I'm gonna sit down and get married after all the paper and all the girls? <laughs> paper like it well, have. cause that's uh, all I wanna know. My wife is the best. She uh, we me and her uh, we had fun. She was with me, kind of like you know. Man, shout out to all the women. Like me and my wife, kind of just, 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 just balled together. Far as like having fun, like going to clubs and stuff. She was with me. She supported me and uh -huh. stuff when I um was on my road. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, to becoming that man, it just got to the point where you gotta just get somebody that you have that you can settle down with and just do the same thing. You know what I mean? That that light dimmed a long time ago when it came to. When it came to the rapper part, and she was, she could kind of understand the transitions that I had to make mentally, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Transitioning from rap. Because it's a money thing, too. But for me, it was it was just finding somebody who, you know. But how does um, a, a wife like yours coming in and knowing I'm with City Paper and you live in this type of city, <laughs> how does that balance work? Man, you got to be crazy like me. <laughs> you can't. She crazy. You know, I'm retarded a little you bit. You are retarded too. a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, Paper a little crazy. slow and dumb. You will never know her, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, she crazy like me. She crazy. She, yeah, yeah, and she can handle it. Yeah, she, she can handle, handle the paper thing. Thing. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah, everybody know that. But why yeah, you, that's it. Why don't you just hang with all girls? Man? I love it, man. What what you, I want to hang with you. <laughs> they like you. Hey, look, that pretty woo. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Uh, that's, hey, look, yeah. that what? Uh, that's that's, that's why I'm getting my free. money up. Just tell her I'm getting my money she'll up. She'll like you. I, I bet. I bet she I will. I be telling she'll like you. Hook me I'm up. I'm going to hook you up. I'm going to hook you up. Pretty Woo, he going to hook you up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm finna be the biggest podcast guy, baby. I know you like the ball. Yeah. yeah you wear yeah, Gucci she'll and stuff. Like you. She wear Gucci and stuff. I don't know if she really wear all of that, but she'll <laughs> like you. We, yeah, she'll like you. We're going to calm down from, from all the Gucci stuff. We just got to chill right now. We got to save and shit. We just, we done buck with it. But I will tell you, you've been balling for a long time. Good. <laughs> I so appreciate that. Get with paper boy. You get with you my favorite guest. You know what I'm saying? And okay, so and so, and so now, like paper, like what is what what is going on with paper? Like where is paper mindset at now? With with been going through all that and and now like super trend. I'm still mad that you ain't rapping no more. Yeah. I feel like for, for me, you got to think. I always tell y'all, you know, I'm a yeah. fan. First. Yeah, facts, 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 facts. And so I always feel like, like I just had a, I had a vision when I was talking about the girls. I'm thinking like, ooh, what if Paper was on a song with Sweet Poison? Yeah, or yeah. Or Mimi to go, or taking yeah. them up under. You know what I'm saying? So where is Paper head at now? Man, I just, man, doing? really, I just, it just pee, man. The, it's just on some, on some shit where, you know, I'm big on children. And that's yeah. kind of like, you know, again, it goes back to, you know, how you raised. And it then came back, totally 360. Anytime I try to get you know, far removed from where my pedigree was with my parents, then it's just, it's a, it's a, it's something that's just off. So rap and all of that just don't, it's not it on the same fit. frequency as being, raising your kids every day, especially in this world. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So as much I saw as you with your, with your, with your son the other day, y'all yeah. was cooking, cooking and yeah, doing yeah, the paper platters muffins, and yeah, all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I get off, I get into all like of that. that. And yeah. I always did because my parents did. So I got, uh, I just get into that. Real and then I get into that a lot of people far as and it's just not conducive to to the way I'm set up. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I had two parents and we did sports and we did schooling and then we went and we did all of it. I had no 
excuse growing up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I almost feel bad the stuff that the stuff that I done or been uh, been um involved in. Man, yeah. You know what I'm saying? As far as the embarrassment Man. of my parents. I really do. You know what I'm saying? Because you was raised up in a good yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like, it's like it's like I don't want that I don't on their name. I don't see, but I'm gonna think I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna think different on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you really did a great service yeah. for the name Fitzgerald. Yeah, me too though. And here's the I thing. Think you did here's the, the thing though. I'm not. I'm not because my parents like, especially my mom. My mom was almost my manager at one point. She yeah. she did the club. She did that. She was at the door. Yeah. You know, she <laughs> like she was like she like, like she was in, like. So it wasn't that man. It was just you know what I'm saying more of my pops. You know what I'm saying. My pops yeah. is just a, just a straight up tough man though. Mm -hmm. Tough good man. Yeah. They just a good dude, right? And I he wasn't with all that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I was with him when when he was saving people pulling up at. At dope houses, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's people like Black Sean and all the people, all the big homies I know from him just being a football coach. Yeah, facts. So most of the respect I had really was from my pops just being a football okay. coach yeah. and me being his son, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it was almost like a big homie. That, that it, it was like like a big gangster in the hood, but he was just a big football coach. Yeah, facts. And he was a tough guy that saved the kids or whatever. So that's kind of how half my respect came from. Uh -huh. Yeah. The, the reason why I flipped was when people thought, that it was sweet. Mm -hmm. Did it make sense? Yeah, right. Like, if you had the guy, well, 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 what's up with it then? Like, mm -hmm. oh, yo, your daddy this, what would that mean? Because yeah. my daddy won't let me, let you punk me out. Mm. Did it make sense? That so, make, so, so, so it, yeah. it was always conflicting to the point where people thought, and I think that's, that was my story in a nutshell, some people thought that just because you had a daddy in a tough, because my dad is from the neighborhood, my mom from the neighborhood, and just because they were tough and, ra and raised us right, that it was sweet on my end. How, how many people do you think, like, uh, I'm going I'm to get you a, like out of 10%. Yeah. How many people do you think thought you were soft because you was raised up in a household? Man, I think five out of five, and that's the and that, and, 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 and that's the and that's the the situations you probably done seen. Like, what's yeah. up with that? Yeah. I do have an attitude problem. You Everybody know that. Nah, I'm going to go to it. I'm gonna go all the way there. Yeah. It ain't no middle with that because to me it's easy to be nice to people. Like me and you been friends for years. Yeah, fact, well, definitely. I ain't never starting or whatever. But if you think whatever, sweet, I ain't joke around, do none of that in school. Like it's going, I'm gonna go straight to it. Sure. And my and when I did get in trouble in school, my dad like the one that took me to fight and took me no nobody. My brother like him. I got a big brother Buck. Man, he he like that. Yeah, my, 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 he's he always go get him and, and until I got my nuts down or whatever. So we always from neighborhood getting down and scratching. But I think that's kind of where the 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 uniqueness of my story came yeah. to the point where I didn't have the oh man he didn't eat. You know, the grandmama wasn't on crack, the mama wasn't none of that. And I yeah. brag on that. Yeah, you see, I'm the dude that brag on it. No, right. my mom was like that. Yeah, I could pull up in that in that, in that lack on you and she came in 16. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. was like that. Because we was proud of that. When my parents, when my mama finally made it, you know what I'm saying, it became a, a, a attorney. It was well after I so, graduated so, from school. So would you say, think about this, paper, would you say you was poor or you was broke or you live middle class? Middle class, up? for sure. Middle class. So, 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 but, so. But, at first, P, from the North Fifth days, my mama was going to school. So she had us young at 20, 21. Mm -hmm. My dad was coming from the from the um the NFL mm -hmm. started being a P coach at, yeah. at Rose Park. So on that on that rise, now that I look back, you can see from North Fifth to Rosedale, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, by, oh, off Douglas, that was the first house. Most definitely. And then when we like ten or twelve, there was the Parkwood. At that time, Parkwood was a big deal. Oh, Parkwood, the, that Parkwood, oh, man, we Parkwood made like it. Brentwood. <laughs> to be honest with you, you know what I mean? Shout no, out to Weeds. Yeah, no, Parkwood fact. was like so, Brentwood. That's kind of where the store was in Parkwood until it became what it is now. But yeah, we, you know, what I'm saying. But my mama didn't become a lawyer really until like probably graduated from high school. Mm -hmm. But she was in law school, and she was working these jobs and, and hustling and working at Castor Night at the time and getting us joy. And so we always, I was, I didn't have no sad story. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Well, she she took care of, she took, we took kids in, slaying them, and we got, we ate good. But, but let me ask you yeah. a question, though, Paper. Like, why is it odd when you get a person like you that come with just a regular family and then – we don't got no regular family, so it's like yeah. you the the villain when that's how. It's yeah, I don't know, man, and I just I just think that it just comes from the mentality, man. Really, it's a it's a jealousy that when you until you grow older, they really they really love you. They just avoid missing that they wish they could have that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Facts. So if I'm going to school with all these guys, and I don't look down on it now. Now that I look down, then you pick, you, you you trying to punk me out because you didn't have a daddy. So you know what I'm saying? When my daddy was was a coach and he was um. 
and I was trying to get everybody. I went to Head Middle School where Head was all Joe Johnson. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I had some gangsters, man. Facts. Whatever. So it's Gary McBride, it's Cuddy, it's, it's, it's Wesley Holmes, it's all, all these up. dudes, yeah. man. Crump and all these dudes. It's, it's some wolves, right? And I'm trying to get people to go to the games and shit. My dad had coach of Pearl. You know what I'm saying? Well, Pearl was sorry at the time, right? Mm -hmm. But he was the head coach. And, but really, it was like, I ain't going to that CRS school. T Beard, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't going to that CRS game. Pearl was like, Sorry, that was 0 and 10, but he was the coach. So I was like, I feel bad, but then they'll show up and they bring my water boys and they all on the on, on the field. I get them all on the field. Yeah. And we lose where by Monday they joking on me again. <laughs> but they done use me for, for on the field. The they water. Like they done, so it's like a weird, weird. So I'm like, do they really like me or they don't? <laughs> right. So it took me all those years yeah. like to understand that they really love me. They just I had something they didn't have. I had a house. I had a, a yeah. good, you know what I'm saying? They in a project, baby. They, you know what I'm saying? They Mom and something maybe you know what I'm saying whatever it was and that, and that love that they was missing you know what I'm saying and my pops gave all of them that when it when when they you know what I'm saying was was got to pearl and play for them and stuff so it really was a love thing that people was missing that I tried and, to give to people and so look look paper so you know your love of basketball was off off yeah, the top yeah uh, pops coach basketball yeah. now son is playing basketball yeah. um. It's paper living through sun right now. Man, see, that's the won't. biggest, man, that's kind of crazy. Fantastic. Yeah, so that's a good question. So in a weird way, I used to get offended off that question because I'm twice as popular as my son. My son popular, but hell, I still nah, got you, twice as. Yeah, no, he, but listen, I'm just saying why for, he's popular. Far he's, as social media, okay, right? Okay, okay, okay social media, right? Okay, Look at it. Okay. He don't really have money like that. He, 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 the popularity is that I think it's more protection of my son. Mm-hmm. Because I, you know what I'm saying, I paved the way. And you want to, and, and whoever got kids, you want to protect your kids, right? Yeah, most definitely. So for me, I knew the magnitude that was on his back. You know what I'm saying? Being a fist drill, being, I had one mm. on my back just from my dad being. So, and so, he going to have haters. No, for, for, but, but, but check this out. Everybody in my family popular. You got to realize my brother Buck is popular in his own right. He knew the football went to UT. My dad is popular. My mom popular. I'm popular. So you got fish drill, but everybody made it in their own right. My mom was popular as a child support attorney, Ooh. right? So you got to realize Your nobody. Your mom as a lawyer, though. It just, I ain't even going to say child support yeah, attorney. Facts. I'm just saying. Facts. We you, you got to think when well, we're from the hood, and so we said like, facts. hey, but mama is a lawyer. Man, it's, a, man, it's crazy. So it's a unique thing that. Everybody in my family became somebody on their own merit, right? Mm -hmm. So my daddy went the football right. I went, I'm nobody else rap. My brother did football in in, in Poplar Buck. And then my mama, Poplar in her own oh, right, yeah, right, right? So I'm we talking. all like like that. Then We're my talking. son made his own right. So it's more of a man, you had a you had a uh uh a tag on your back. That you got to be tough. So when I was going to his games and stuff like that, I knew that everybody around here knew, and they was looking like paper right there, whatever. But I knew that I was locked in on him because I was like, my nigga, you better be tough because you Ooh, don't even know that tough. everybody around here is looking at you to fail, Ooh, right? So I was locked in to... with him. I was like, he didn't even know. They ain't know now that you like that. So I was building, getting confidence, giving him confidence, so the point where he can stand on his own. So right now, it's it's a little backed off because I had to instill the confidence, the same confidence that my pops instilled in me and my brother. Right. See, you gotta realize my parents gave me this confidence. Yeah, ooh. Not nobody on the street. None. I've always you been didn't, confident. You didn't, you didn't need no good, street confidence. No, no good See, that's parents. What I'm yeah. Love, love I, give I you confidence. Like yeah, love and when you love your kids to the point where you teach them from to get out the house, man, can't nobody take from you. Can't you? You somebody. That's where you get your and confidence from. So you instill from. that in him, and that's and that's what people don't like about me. Mm. Nobody. I'm being honest. Like I'm not scared of you. I got confidence. What's up with you? What's up? You know what I say all the time. Baby? <laughs> This what I always say. You can't do nothing but kill me. That's it. All you can that's do. I, that's it, man. All you can do. Uh, that's it, P. You can't do nothing but kill me. That's it, P. Because I'm not scared of you. The only thing. I don't care nothing about that. Yeah. You know, and my, I think just being yourself, and that's why my, you know, as far as when it comes to my son, my son is like like you, P. He his own person. He the best person in the world, but he's his self, he, himself. He do what he do, listen to his music, man. And, but I gave him that confidence to the point where, and guess what being yourself do, man? It actually keeps you out of trouble because if you know right from wrong, most times when you're a follower, that's when you get in trouble. Right. Shout out to uh, shout out to Coach Penny. Yeah, Coach Penny. Yeah, yeah, my Sh guy. Shout out to Coach Penny for sure, Coach Penny. But uh, when Master P son first yeah, came down yeah, here, yeah, yeah, uh, did Paper get one of the first calls? It's all, and I'm asking you that yeah, for a reason. Yeah, yeah, Penny actually called me and told me that he was going to sign 
uh, Lil Hersey and P was coming or whatever like that. And and I, I don't think me, I don't think Penny knew, you know, kind of what type of person or personality Master P was, right? You know what I'm saying? And I don't think I, I want to know what's so what, man. P give P, us give P, us something P, on that because we was selfish. really P a little selfish. P a little selfish and P a little P ain't all the way right. Put it like Ooh. that. P ain't all the way right. And that ain't that ain't no shade. And most just... people to know that if you if you look at the No Limit Chronicles, it's my opinion. Okay. If you look at the No Limit Chronicles, you ask enough people. You know what I'm saying? You can see a, a track record, record of kind of being monkey. Hmm. You know, look at the story. We feel like it a little bit. Yeah, look at the We're story with his wife and, 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 and Romeo just came out. All the stuff. Monica C. Murder. Look at the real story of what people say. You know what I liked about it? And I want to keep talking okay. about this. You, <laughs> okay. you know what I liked about it more than anything? And I say this. I say this with confidence. Yeah, he came down here. Lamarcus, Lamarcus, yeah, 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 yeah. Now he's still tall. Lamarcus stood yeah, his yeah, yeah, ground. Yeah, yeah, he's still tall. Everybody thought it was gonna be you a. You think they yeah. come from? Yeah, just paper? confidence, man. And we and him had that conversation that man, it's gonna be a big magnitude, and he embraced Hersey. Yeah, most Master that P. Was P I, how, Master how was the P. Master P. Flew him. You know, he went out. My son was the first one that went over. P. Flew him to California over his house. Okay, right. And he went over there, stayed with him a week or so, and. You know, Marcus called him and they worked out up there in the Cali and stuff. And and he just was like, it just didn't ever really mesh. He liked Hersey. Yeah. Hersey more of a kind of like a white, kind of white boy. You know, okay, he went to school yeah, white. Kinda, yeah, he yeah. Kinda yeah. White. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because he yeah. white. So Lamarcus, you know, Marcus kind of could deal with both ends because Marcus done went to school with Brewery Academy. Done went, you know what I mean? Marcus was straight in the middle, but, right. but hood, you know, but still can get on that level. Yeah. But yeah, they flew him out there to California and stuff like that. I just didn't think, I didn't think it ever. Mesh, I think P wanted to come down here, take over Penny's stuff, take over my stuff, and just kind of thought he was going to come to Nashville and, and, and use everybody and take over. No, and Nashville don't give a damn like it. After that first two Nashville or three days. Don't give a, nah, after that first two or three. Come, nah. you, you can't come get us like that. After the culture shock of you here and what, you know. <laughs> and, and he and he got a rude awakening to that. the culture shock of you here and, and what? Next? It take two days for Nashville to get tired of you. know man. that. <laughs> Shit, they get tired you know of me and you, We man. might be tired Shit. of you before you get here. Man, what? Man, they don't give a damn. And so, man, they'll be but, joking on. But in, in, in Piper's opinion, what do you think that move was really about with him bringing his son here? It's some kind of selfish move that I just thought that he knew his son wasn't on that level like mm. that. He wanted to come and take over, you know, being a mid-major. Both of us D1. Because so he wasn't that good. Yeah, so Tennessee State is a D1 team now, okay? okay that's division one. Yeah. So you got mid-major, you got high major. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So his son was not high major. And some people high major, like my son had high major offers and Jalen Jones had high major offers, but they elected to stay here, which is a great school with a great coach by Penny yeah. to bring that to Penny again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he just kind of looked at it like, probably he was going to come to Nashville and take over this smaller school. Ooh. Right? And it and wasn't, nah, it wasn't going. They it wasn't would, going. Nah, they wasn't going. It was a player down here that wasn't even nah, going to let that going. happen. They you know what I'm going. saying? They wasn't going. And so that. look, so look, I got a game I play. Okay. Hey, because you know what I'm saying? You smart. Okay, okay. You, uh, you're, you're a great big artist. Okay, and, okay. And I kind of think you know your artistry. Okay. If these two guys is going in the versus who's winning, E40 of or Snoop Dogg? For sure, Snoop. Ooh, shout out to me. Yeah, Snoop, Snoop. got a bigger catalog. But okay. in Cali, I think, you know, people probably, but just globally. Just globally. Snoop got a bigger catalog to pull from. Who can beat Tupac? Oh. Who can beat Tupac on their versus stage? It just depends. In the era? In whatever era. Who can beat Tupac on this stage? Oh, it's tough. I think, I think, uh, you know, I'm a Jigger guy. I'm okay. a Jay-Z guy. Okay. I'm just, I'm asking you. I'm a pot guy, but I'm a Jay-Z guy. <laughs> yeah. So, so <laughs> is paper going on the record saying Jay-Z will be pop? Uh, yeah. It's recorded now, just to let you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This, this, this is on to go with, record. I go with pop. I go with pop. Okay. <laughs> you can't make me nervous. You I'm gonna go with pop. I'm gonna go with pop. Go okay, with pop. I, I want to do some Nashville stuff because okay, I just okay. um, if you had to choose one of these artists <laughs> to sign, and you're saying that that this is the best artist, okay, are you going with Lil Stain or ABK Gates? I'm good neighborhood. 
I'm going to go, I'm going to go with ABK. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go. on that head. Yeah, I'm just doing you, neighborhood. You stand, shout you out stand to, on shout that out head. Yeah. Shout, shout out to the home. Yeah. Shout out to the neighbor. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> now, um, this guy, this guy right here, he bought this guy up. Okay. And, and, and I have to, I have to ask you. Okay. I kind of know what you're going to say. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I, I want you to think about it before you say it. Okay. These two guys are in the person. Who you going for? Cool Daddy Fresh or Pistol? Definitely. Greatest of all time. Big boy. <laughs> big boy with the left hand. Hey, look. The big boy with that big ass it, chain. Yeah, we'll put that pad out and then get the right let, like let that. Nigga's over for your ass, nigga. <laughs> did, little, did, 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 did little Paul really give him that, that, uh, that 500 was with him. Uh, don't you? I know that I drove that to the prom and and, and we got caught <laughs> with it. We had me and Slay had to send it up at Knoxville <laughs> and everything when the feds came. See, it's real stories, man. Pistol need to come on my podcast. I, Can you call he, him? I will, but he won't. He won't come up out of that big old house in Atlanta, man. He when ain't got to come we, out there. I come to the. I come to his big old man. house. He you might, know what man. Him, he just, he the, just. Does Pistol really live in Atlanta or he just lives somewhere else? So ain't telling nobody. I, I, no, I ain't you seen him. You. I ain't even seen him. I just talked to him on the phone you, all the time. You paper. You but I, man, know. listen. You can't even ask Lil Marcus and his family. Nobody. He just like a ghost, man. He, I think he like it like it, man. He, I, I, I just, <laughs> uh, but I understand it though because I'm kind of like it. Is he doing Nashville disservice? By not giving us any attention, because we kind of I don't know how much pistol like Nashville. He be he'll probably be mad at me. I don't know why. I'm just I speak that much. I don't because I, I, everybody love. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I can understand it though. If I if I ever and I'm Dude, but, but I'm I'm being honest. Do you think it's a disservice for for us for his fans? For him not to show up for us like we want him to. I think so. I think okay, so. good. <laughs> it's a disservice. We love him. We love it's him. It's a disservice. Man, Big Boy can get down. He can get down, P. Big Boy can get Okay, let, let, me, okay, let, okay. let me go to this, this okay. versus. If you're choosing one of these guys on the verse, who's winning? Lil Baby or Lil Dirk? Baby. Ooh, shout Damn, out to Baby. Can't even... Can he hold his jock strap? Man. man baby, an animal. Man, bye baby. Bye. Hey, baby y'all read that nigga shit. Animal. If y'all read that nigga shit, man, read his, read his rap rap genius and all that. I, you know, I read people stuff like shit. They getting down. He getting wow. down. Mm, mm, he getting mm. down. I got one more for you. Okay. And I think this going to be, this going to be, I know you going to pick, but um, if we're doing a verse with these two guys, Scarface, or Trick Daddy, who's winning? Face, face an animal. Is face the if it is face, face the greatest of all time? Face almost he top five. Face Ooh, one top five. Nigga. Give me your top five artists. Uh, oh. give me your top five rap artists, dead or alive. I got, Cause, I, got cause I can get. Okay, I got. All right, I got, I got Jigga. I got Jay. Okay. Got Pop. Two. I got Big. Three. Man, I got probably got face. Four. Oh man, but it's probably gonna be somebody like Drake or somebody. I like Drake. Let me. Let all me, them let, old niggas overrated. Let me Most of them older niggas overrated. All them other niggas, they all that cube, all that old shit. They be trying to all that shit. They ain't nothing. Give me your top five Nashville artists. All time. All time. I, yeah, I said Bucks, Lido. Gates, okay. P. Gates, Kwani. Okay. Weed man, too. <laughs> hey. Play it. <laughs> hey, it's set in stone. Okay, let me ask you this, P. I'm going to ask you a question because you're the great podcast. What do all goats have in common? I'm gonna tell you what all. So goes. so so so. Now let me let me clarify. What 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 do the Nashville goats have, have in common? Quine, I mean, uh, Gates, P. Gates, Young Buck, and Starlito. What do the three goats have in common? They're a fan of me. I'm a fan of them. That's one thing. I'm a fan of. Guess what? This is what this is. Look, I'm telling you. I'm gonna tell you this. I have never been a fan of music, but when it comes to, and and I and I say this with confidence. Yeah. Yeah. I play with the, the legends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can I, play with I that. left that paper out. No, no, no. So look, I see you. And you I had a good list. For no, reason. no, you had a good list. I had, I had a good list because I was doing five. Yeah, you had a good list. But I'm a fucking fan. Like, y'all, 
I, I understand this. If Nashville was on the map like the Atlanta and stuff, yeah. we can't be fuck with. Yeah, and so the, 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 the reason why I say I'm a fan of y'all because I'm not a fan of anybody, but I'm a paper. Uh, my Cadillac was in the Dope Boy Swag video. It's that white one with it the choppers was. on there. Listen, listen, P. Let me tell you something, man. I don't because we done got started. So, so from 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 Young Buck, Young Buck is an animal, right? Mm -hmm. Who else could do two gases, which is forty songs, without nobody even saying, "Damn, who's do that dude rapping?" You think you beat Young Buck on those CDs? Ooh, I was rapping. <laughs> do you, Ooh, do you think rapping. you beat Young Buck on those? Go listen to the gas. I'm just, so, but, I'm but, 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 no, but listen, listen. Okay. What it was is, is, is he had to man. He had to look at me about the fourth and fifth song. Better not be no bullshit. Go loco, all that stuff. He started looking. I don't think he knew what what, what he was up against. <laughs> he knew what did with him. No, no, no. I'm, I'm like that. I'm like that, Pete. I know you. Are. I, I, okay, listen. <laughs> let me go. Let me go further. Okay. Pistol. PJN, who was the only person on speedballing on five or six or seven songs. That's what they have in common. Then Lido, Grind Hard, two CDs, 252 grams, Whip Game. Yeah. All of those three greats know, respectfully, when I come in the, in the studio, they got to tighten their belt. Respectfully. And that's the truth. That's that's just that's just respectfully. And, that's, and, and, and then my friends, they know that, whoo, this nigga, they like that. It's the truth. It ain't, I'm, uh, the, truth though, the, the truth is never a lie. It's the truth. Everybody know when I come in the studio, <laughs> niggas got to tighten their belt. It's always been like that. And just because I say it like that, people just like, what? I'm saying what I'm saying. Man. And then if you go to the club, you can do right back at it, go loco, better not be no bullshit. I'm a hustler, dope boy sweat. What's up, bluff? It's the I'm, truth. I'm going to say this. It's I'm, the truth, I'm going to go on record and say this. It's only two artists in Nashville, Tennessee. <laughs> That when you play their records in the club, <laughs> they gonna go crazy. If it's, it's it's five, it's five or six artists. Yeah, facts, facts. And I'm excluding Star from this because yeah. Grey Goose. Yeah, facts. Cause Star, because you wanna Star always put that behind him, <laughs> and that and that's easy. that's dated. I will say this. <laughs> but if you play that paper, that Quanti Cash yeah. in that club, they that's gonna go I crazy. Um, I wanna see that verses. That verses need to be real versus with you and Q. Be I'm on Q side. You got to be East side. And you're my friend. You to, and that's you my, my friend. friend too. And that's my friend. And that's my friend. Quan is and so I'm on sharp. both y'all side, but I'm on Q Quan side. Quan is so sharp. He'll have his soul. You know, he, he got to. Quan going to come with some to trick. He's, he's going to have something. <laughs> he's going to have a trick or something. On you know he's he like a genius too. You yeah. know Q like a genius. I had to get with my writers. I had to. I had to. I had to put my pride. Yeah. Put my production yeah. together, yeah. right? I had to. But uh, yeah, it'll be but, good. But, but but would you say this? To be honest. Yeah. Would you say if they're playing dope boy swag or what's up bluff in the club? It's really hyper than almost any song. Which what greatest song of all time? Dope boy swag. People <laughs> won't say it. that's why they. <laughs> Do a poll on Facebook. I'm on the, the greatest I'm in the video. song of all That's time. That's why I'm going to get what well, I'm going to agree with you today. Today, because I'm in the video. My three car is verses, in the video. Three verses, Cadence going down through that. They said it. I'm one of them, man. I'm an animal, <laughs> man. It's the truth. But I don't know how to say this. Some people are like, humbly speaking, it's the yeah. truth. <laughs> three verses, five. And it was long verses. Yeah, it it was, is hot pop. pop. <laughs> yeah, I and like they that. they was actually talking about something. And they word for word. And, 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 and you can spit it word for word. Genius, man. But I'm still quiet. But you can spit <laughs> it word. You can spit it word for word, though. You know and what I'm saying? Like you, just and like you. So, yeah. yeah. And so, yeah, like man. Like that, P. Like that, Pete? Let me ask you some uh, <laughs> paper. What can Nashville do better when it comes to moving and grinding together? Oh, I man, stuff like what you're doing, Pete. Stuff like what Adriana's doing. I, I think it's in Ooh, a good place. I love Adriana. Oh, she's the special. In the world. She's special. She's special. She's special. Sister. You know, you know, I always yeah. told her, hey, we got a good relationship. Great relationship. I always supported her. She might come her. join my podcast. Uh, man, listen, so great person. Y'all, too, long. So, so to your question, what y'all two are doing, like, you know, I play around with it, play around with the camaraderie of the competition of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it ain't no real, you no, know, I don't take just, it. Just yeah, but far as the real deal, man, I think y'all doing it. I think mm -hmm. all the, the, the artists doing it. I think it was special. I think uh, um, R.I.P. Uh, 
Quiz. He was ski was special. Ooh. He had it. He had it. He had it. I was a fan of him, even though me and Sleazy friends, I was a fan of him. Stay all of those. It's, it's some guys, man. I'm not. I'm not one of those old dudes that hate on the on the, the, the new I, people. I, yeah. I love it. I love yeah, it. I'm you, in you the club, it. man. Sometimes, man, to the point where I'm in like, play that, I, I'm just regular. I like that shit. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not the angry, bitter old dude. You know what I'm saying? I'm old. I, I, I'm, I'm content. Do you? Do you think the your rap career treated you? Right, beautifully. Just, I, I give worried. me a number, and uh, that's why. <laughs> see, this what I love. I love independent artists, and you really been that the whole yeah, time. Yeah, beautiful. I know beautiful you career. Got in, yeah, yeah, all, yeah, yeah, all yeah, that yeah, fine, yeah, yeah. Like, and you can just think over this number. How much money do you think you made off a of rap? Oh man, I hadn't. So put it like this: if I hadn't worked, you know, I hadn't had a job in twenty some years. <laughs> Yeah, so everything I did, no, nah, being uh, no, nah, I'm just put, put like because I haven't had a job and haven't sold drugs. The only thing I did was rap, <clears throat> right? So it, it set me up to all these different businesses. Now you know I got a truck coming, I got other stuff, but yeah, so that's what I don't know the number, but it just it took care of my family. So if you see me out and uh, all of this stuff came from rap, yeah, mm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like being is. honest, you know what I'm saying? So I didn't have to, I ain't had to do like yeah, so. It took care of me from 04 to 20 years. And so is rap over for you? Fact. I ain't rapped in seven years. I I think uh, if you if you listen to uh Hot Chicken, man, Lido and them tricked me, Lido and Fate them when they was they they called me to get on the they CD. Tricked but you. I but when I talked on the Quinnis song when um and Young Buck, I mean uh and, and uh Vac them, mm-hmm. they got me to talk on the end because I didn't rap and that was 2018. So they were just like Man, you know, I was just like a hundred thousand. We're just just giving uh, yeah. Lido his flowers, you know Thanks. what I mean? But that's they was trying to get me to rap then, mm. and and they got me on the end to put me on the CD just because yeah, got somebody yeah. So that was two thousand eighteen. So I hadn't, nah, I ain't, I ain't fucking. So ain't ain't nothing bringing you nah, back to nah. It ain't, ain't no, no nobody can call you. Say, and like, nah, only only thing they call me to do is talk to P at the podcast and come and come host a show here and there. That's why I'm happy you here because yeah, because I had to kind of shice you to get here. Yeah, <laughs> that was the, yeah, yeah. Oh, I yeah. told you I was good. Yeah, didn't yeah, yeah, I got yeah, it. Facts, I got facts, it. Oh, facts. I told you he ain't doing nah, nothing. Like, I got it. Nah, you facts, know what I'm facts, saying? So, facts, 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 man, paper. I thank you for coming home and like, nah, facts, um, man. If you can do one thing for me, I will really appreciate for you to. Encourage because I love I love the men rap, but I'm just so on the women rap. Now. Yeah, yeah, encourage for sure. them, encourage these girls, man. That camera right there, encourage these girls to keep moving. Nah, for real, like and 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 for sure. If I ever say something, I'm behind it now, man. The girl movement, man, especially the way Lil Sus Adriana doing it, man. Keep going, man. We got to support these ladies doing it, man, because they got a lane. Definitely Cashville behind it. See the paper behind it for sure. Straight up. <laughs> and this, if the city paper yeah, behind, I'm behind it, it, for sure, for sure. He's behind I've been, it. I've been on there saying that, man, I fuck with him. I fuck I know, with him. I know you do. You you posted blazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure, man. Yeah. See, and I don't even know her. her. I, don't even, I don't even know her. You but know what I'm saying? Dope. She yeah, dope. I, I think she picked beats well and everything, I man. I, 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 I like it. I like she it for sure. Again, Q, we, uh, we calling out this versus. Cause we got a couple of us got your back quad. I mean, you know, uh, paper gonna have his people. The whole West Side gonna be yeah, there for sure. Shout out to uh, Pudon. I just yeah. left a uh, book release. Yeah, he had a book release and um, big shout homie. out to uh, big uh, homie Pudon. Yeah. yeah, for sure. A uh, big church. His, yeah, uh, big church podcast. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. KJ, KJ. They all. Yeah, they, they all. all that's, that's my they guy. All family. I mess with this all, they all family. family. And so that's why I was telling them. I said I got paper and I can't stay. So they all family. I had to come to take my business. So again. If you alive, subscribe. For sure. The city paper. Let's do it. Y'all jealous. Y'all jealous again. <laughs> y'all jealous again. City paper, man. Make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all holler at me. If you alive, subscribe. 